Um, yeah, what do we have? What do we have here? Um, closest to that was a mouthwash developed by a periodontist for his patients, um, and it kills the bacteria that actually cause uh, gum disease. So we we instruct the patients to brush that into their teeth mm. before the toothpaste. Yeah. and then brush the tongue, rough of the mouth and cheeks because there's more bacteria in the tongue, rough of the mouth and cheeks than there is mm. actually on the teeth. Really? So, yeah, most patients, what do you mean the rough of my mouth? Well, yeah, it's, it's a that hole, tickles. right? It's, yeah, well, it does. <laughs> that How tickle. about tongue cleaning? I mean, I, I hear about this more and yeah, more. Absolutely, and we're going to be talking some about some of this. Um, tongue cleaners are great, and you, that's the last thing that we instruct our patients to do. But, you know, taking the nutrition, testing for underlying medical problems or screening for them, and using the right products that actually kill bacteria is is such a good approach and it's a long-term approach i don't retreat my patients hmm. i mean i've been doing this wow. system now for about 12 years and i can count on my hand how many patients i had to retreat before this program almost everybody had to be retreated within five years hmm. well doc with all the technology that you have and all these things that you've come up with have you guys done anything to muffle the sound of a dentist drill absolutely none <laughs> There has to be some way to make that thing play okay. music when you step yeah. on the pedal. Okay, I mean, with it's, that, it's, I think we need I, to go to break I down. like it as much as you do. <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome back to Balanced Health. We all know that brushing our teeth daily is necessary for good oral health, but does the type of toothpaste we use matter, or the toothbrush for that matter? That's the topic of today's shopping segment, and we're going to be talking about, of course, oral hygiene products. Well, I'm liking this segment, Shirley, because, you know, I go into... Probably like most people, I go into your, you know, CVS or whomever, and there's a whole shelf of these yeah. things, mm -hmm. and maybe you don't get yours from your dentist. Uh, <laughs> maybe no, I guess I don't pay enough. <laughs> um, maybe Doc, we can start if, if it's okay with the toothbrush. Sure. Can we do that? Absolutely. There are toothbrushes with 45 degree angles, stuff sticking on top of the t uh, on top of the thing. My wife recently bought me one that you know you press the button and. This thing vibrates so hard, I felt like if I let it go, it would start running away. I, it do, would probably would. Yeah, probably just go on. Um, are you going to tell us that they're all pretty much the same, or are there some things we should really be looking for? Well, you want soft, polished edges on it, and Oral-B makes a real good one. There's a couple of companies that are really good. Uh, in our office, we have one, a rotary brush, and the bristles are extremely soft, and they go really underneath the gum. Okay. So you don't want something hard. You don't, it's not like taking a wire brush on the mm -hmm. side of your house and trying to get the paint off. Nice and soft. Could I just interrupt you by saying, do you, does your office recommend electric toothbrushes over these manual kinds? If it's the right kind, if it's a soft, it's going to be very, very soft. There's a lot of hard ones, just like you said, it's like, oh my gosh, it's going to tear my mouth up. The gums will run away. They don't like to be mm. beat up that much. Oh. So it's got to be nice and soft. So there are a couple on the, on the market that are really soft. Test it on your thumbnail. Just push it on your thumbnail, and the bristles ought to go really gently over. And Oral-B is a good soft one, isn't it? Yeah, Oral-B is a nice soft one. Medium is a little bit too hard. You'll actually put some grooves in your teeth, and you wear the enamel away. So you you got to be very careful. The toothpicks, you could see those there at the end. <laughs> they um, were laughing earlier because I love those things, <laughs> Joe. So we'll give you a moment with them after the show. <laughs> I just really like. Are those. you familiar with the SpongeBob electric toothbrush, and, and, and is that one any good? Because I, I have young kids at home. Yeah, you know, uh, SpongeBob. My my children are in their twenties now, so I'm going to have to wait till grandchildren. I haven't tested still, it. I still I love SpongeBob. It's got great adult humor in it. But 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 back to the hard brushing for a moment. If they're if it's that bad. Why would any company make it? Right. What's, what's the because there's a demand? Because they your teeth feel cleaner, yeah. right? Right, and, and just cleaner. like toothpaste companies, we're going to talk about that in a second. The more suds they make, it must be good, mm. right? Mm. Well, suds don't do anything. It's it's marketing. So you know mm. the mouthwash that I showed, it doesn't suds and it doesn't have all this flavor and stuff because that's really marketing. You really that's really not good stuff. And you're, I'm sure you're going to talk about that. But make sure that you clean your tongue. There's tongue cleaners on the market. One is, uh, some Oral-B has one on the end of their toothbrush, um, and then you could buy one either separately, too. Hmm. There's more. But how does it clean your tongue? Um, it, you basically scrape, right. and it just takes all the bacteria off of the tooth, that coat that you have on the top of your on the okay. top of your tongue. Now let me ask you what is an ongoing, if you will, debate issue between the conventional and, and, and the allopathic and the alternative medical community as it relates to, say, antibacterial hand soaps. Uh -huh. um, they're even saying now that a lot of our kids have asthma and allergies because we don't expose them to enough germs. Their environment is too sterile. Their immune system is down. You know where I'm going with yep. this. Mm -hmm. yep. do, can we do the same thing in our mouth? Can we bring the bacteria count so far down in our mouth it becomes a wimpy mouth? 
Um, I haven't seen that yet. It's a great theory. Um, but what, what we have done so far, the patients I've seen the last 12 years on this program, they've maintained their oral health. They haven't regressed. Uh, overall, they're much healthier. They're much happier. Um, maybe if maybe we can get to the point where we completely kill all the bacteria, and that's not good. So I don't think we're there yet. There was some naturally put in there in our mouth by God, right? Yeah. So I mean, somewhere there, there's a balance. Yeah. It probably is moderation. I mean, yeah. if we're cleaning our tongue six times a day, we're well, probably going to say once should a you, day. Should you? Okay, once a day, you well, should clean. Your the tongue. bacteria multiply about every 12 hours to 24 hours, right in that area. So if you do a real thorough job once a day. That's fine. Okay, quickly, toothpaste. We toothpaste. only have 30 seconds. Our, my big thing with Tom's of Maine, which is I, I love I like the brand Tom's. I use, because there's no saccharin in it, there's no artificial flavor yep. uh, or, or colors. Is it something you also recommend yourself? Absolutely. That's what I use. Great product. And it's now, now when it first came out, a little rough around the edges. Now it tastes oh, it as good tastes and, and does as much, uh, you know, What about the other products? Stuff, you know? Well, I mean, we, we see artificial color, blue number four, number five, can't be right for the mouth, right? Nope, it isn't. Okay, guys, this is great, but we have to, we, it's, we're Darn. out of time. <laughs> for more information on gum disease and dental care, go to TLN.com, click on shows, and then on Balance Health, and give your website really quick. HealthyHeartDentistry.com, PharmaDen.net. That's all the time we have. We hope you enjoyed thanks the show. Coming, yeah, thanks Thank so much for coming. If you'd like a copy of this show, give us a call and order a DVD right now. And to submit your health questions, email us at balancedhealth at tln.com or call the number of your screen and we'll answer them right here on the air. For Joe Costello and myself, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on Balanced Health. Thanks for being with us. Oh, thank you.